their people from my power. Which of their gods were able to rescue his, pow- his people from the destruct- destructive power of my predecessors? What makes you think your God can rescue you from me? Don't let Ezekiah deceive you. Don't let him fool you. You, you like this, I say it again, no God of any nation or kingdom has ever yet be able to rescue his people from me or my ancestors. How much less will your God rescue you from my power? And Senate Scribble officers for that more than the Lord God and his servant. And his guy reaped the insult upon insult. The king also sent letters, scorning the Lord, the God of Israel. He wrote, just as the gods of all the other nations have failed to rescue their people from my power, so that God of Israel will also fail. Verse 18. The, 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 the Assyrian officials who brought the letters shouted this in Hebrew to the people gathered on the walls of the city, trying to terrify them so it will be easier to capture the city. The, this officer talked about the God of Jerusalem as though he was one of the pagan gods made by human hands. The king, then the king Ezekiah and the prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, cried out in prayer to God in heaven. And the Lord sent an angel who destroyed the extra army with all the, command, the commanders and officers. So the this, 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 this forced them, forced to return home in disgrace to his own land. And when he entered the temple of his God, some of his own sons killed him with a sword. The last verse. That is, that is how the Lord rescued Ezekiah and the people of Jerusalem from the king Sennestra of Astra and from the old others who threatened them. So there was a peace throughout the land. From then on, King Israel became respected among all the surrounding nations and many gifts of the, for the land I wrapped Jerusalem with valuable present of the king Ezekiah too. May the God bless the readings of his word. You can see that uh, you can see how city invades other city. But remember what we are talking about this morning, siege. And the word is siege is over. But we, before we go on, what is a siege? Let's understand that word first. What is a siege? If you open our, in our dictionary, the dictionary says that uh, is defined as a siege as a military operation in which troops or police surround a place and cut off all the access to force surrender. That is the definition of a siege. So a siege is one of s- satanic destruct- destructive weapon against man. It operates by building demonic encampment around a man, family, business, career, ministry, and destiny. So a siege can be what? Can be physical, financial, environmental, or spiritual. Hallelujah. But now we understand what siege is. The question is, what are the types of siege? You know, there's different types of siege. It could be life siege. Some people facing siege in all areas of life. They pushed and strive in all areas of their lives. But unfortunately, they're they're, they're not able to reap all their efforts. There's a marital siege. Many people are going through marital siege in the area of lack of marital breakthrough. No serious partner. Even calling off relationship close to introduction of wedding. Some even marry the having issues within marriage. It's a marital siege. There's spiritual siege. Many people are under this siege of devil in their spiritual life. Some who is meant to be setting people free is seeking freedom from different sources. There's financial siege. Many people are undoing or are undergoing serious lack and abject poverty. That's part that Jesus died to make us rich. You know, we have students here as well too. 
There's something called academic siege. Students can be under the siege of reading and not understanding what they are reading. That's what we call academic siege. And there is career, career siege as well, too. Some people find it difficult to make its way in their choosing career. The siege as well, too. Hallelujah. You know, you know now I've talked about type of siege. But some of us may not even know that we are even in, in a siege until we understand the characteristics of siege itself. Hallelujah. So what is characteristics of siege? Because it's the symptoms. Just like somebody having a, a headache. You know, you go and use a Tylenol, but again, it's the symptoms of something that's happening to your body. So it's the same thing about the siege as well too. Some people don't even know that they're under siege. You know, so but again, what are the characteristics of siege? Siege ensure the firm closure of all doors into a man's destiny so that the problems and battle cannot go out. Miracles is not happening. Blessing and breakthrough cannot come in. No help. Everyone is closed. Battle continues. That's one of the characteristics of siege. Another one is preventing or hindering people from making progress in life. You know, just look at your situation, okay, where I am today? What's happening to my life? Am I making progress? It's a siege. But I know, as you are listening to me this morning, your siege is over. Amen. I said your siege is over. Yes. Another one is endless struggles. Labor devoured by, cons- by, by, by commensurable results of in life. Failure at, e- failure at edging of great truths. On any welfare against the person's destiny. These are the characteristics of siege. And I know this morning we have broken that siege. So, now you, you now remember what we just read now. That's what we just read now. We're about the king Iskaya. Who is he? He's a, he's a faithful man. He's a faithful man. So that means, whether you are faithful, even if you are unfaithful, unfaithful is even worse. But what I was saying here, that even if you are faithful, it's not preventing you from siege. Are you with me? So it happens those who are faithful. We, can, we, read, we read it in the beginning of that, in, in, in the, in that scripture. After, after all, that Ezekiah had so faithfully done. Read that. But again, there is still a siege against a city. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, actually, if 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 you if you if you if you, if you, if you go back to chapter twenty eight of that scroll we read, but I'm not we, we, are, we are not good, but I'm just I just I'm going to paraphrase that. No. You will you will notice that the pre, pre, prior to Ezekiel's time, there are so many evil with the previous rulers in that kingdom. It is so much that even like human sacrifice stable practice against God were done during that time before his character became king. So when his character was appointed, he does amazing things for Lord. He beats the temple back. He pulled all the peoples back to the right place. He walked the ways the Lord, and can read about, you can read it from uh, uh, chapter 29 to, to 31, can see what he did during that period. He has done faithfully, he has faithfully done. So, what we are seeing here, prayer comes to people who follow God earnestly. Not because I'm born again. Not because I'm I have, 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 have been doing everything for God. That doesn't mean that trials will not come. That doesn't mean the siege will not come. But if, if I want you to remember something. God will never put you in a situation or in any turbulence, in any siege that you cannot overcome. Yes. 
So we may think that we do everything right. We don't do, we don't lead evil lives. Day and night, we strive to please God. And we do what is right in his eyes. Yet, why is all this happening to me? Start asking yourself, asking God. Start bump, you, you start doubting God. Why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? I'm doing everything in the right way. Anyway, we are going to answer that. Hallelujah. Another thing I want you to know this morning is that the siege we are talking about is not invasion. The difference between siege and the difference between invasion. Are you with me? Now, we know, we, all of us, we know about the war that's going through in, in Ukraine and Russia now. That is invasion. You know, initially, before that invasion happens, Russia did what? Siege. They put all their military around Ukraine before they enter their stand. You know, by the time invasion happens, <coughs> then things go, bad things will happen. But now, when we are still under siege, God can, can, can conquer that siege on our behalf. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, if, if you look at Isaiah 43 verse 2, it says, when you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not burn up. The flame will not consume you. Hallelujah. You know, so, so, so you can see the promises, the promises of God on us. So our trial, our trials are a siege. The enemy will come and come around you. You know, so you see, sometimes we can have some enemy that are invisible. Do, are, you, are, are you with me? You know, even sometimes you yourself will be your whole, your whole enemy. Are you with me? You yourself can be your whole enemy by the way you are living your life. And you become a siege to yourself as, as well. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, even your closet, the closet of your friend may fall like a city of Judah. You mean you 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 you, 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 you may you, your mind may not may get disturbed. That's part of such as well too. You know when when something is bothering you, you cannot sleep, you cannot eat. Are you enjoying your life? It's a siege. If something is bothering you, it's a siege. Can you say that it's personal? Hmm? So there's a lot of things that can come, and you may get scared by all these feelings which ourselves permit when we see the siege. So, brethren, fear not. It is only siege, not a takeover. Again, fear not. It is only what? Siege. But it's not what? Hallelujah. A siege has no power. <clears throat> the siege has no control within your own life. Yes. Your work or your business, your head, your family, the siege has no power on them. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, <clears throat> when we identify that there's a siege, would we consult? So the Lord. Remember, in, in, in verse 2 of what we read, in the scripture we read, when Ezekiel saw that uh, Senna's scribe, scribe has come and intended to wage war against Jerusalem, what he did, he consulted his, ofi his officials and military staff. So, brethren, this morning, the first thing a trial brings out in horse is that we seek God. We see God. King Ezekiah consulted with his officials and minister. Like likewise, we also have to consult Jesus Christ through the word, the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit. 
Jesus set an example for us when he went through the most difficult, uh, difficult period of his life. He went away alone and did what? And pray in where? In private. You know, because of our time, you know, you can write it down. You can go to the Matthew 26, verse 36 to 43. Now, in the passage we, ju- we just we read, there are some things when Astra s- besieged Judah, there are three things they did. There are three things they did. First one, they blocked the, sp- they blocked the spring of water that, was, that, that, that the people that uh, that uh, uh, f- I mean, want, I mean, want to uh, invade their in, in their city. You know, there was there is a river outside, and they were able to drink from there. You know, they are getting everything from there. You know, somebody that wanted to kill you is taking your water to drink, is taking your food to eat, but again, still outside. You know, so the first thing they did, they blocked the spring of water from wasting, because every water that go to the enemy is a waste. Are you with me? It's a waste. So the first thing, what? They block the spring of the water from wasting. So this morning, I pray, to, I pray for you. Every element of waste that as a result of siege in your life, I cancel it this morning. So in everything we have, in everything we have to keep God in front. And sometimes certain activities or people or circumstances can be a waste of our time. Our association, things which God has not appointed or anointed us to do, the things that can take away our time for God should be destroyed and cut off. So in that chapter, we, 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 we have seen that any water that went, that went, that went, is what? Waste from Israel, from the of Israelites, as it flows out of the city, turned out to be a blessing to the enemy. <laughs> you know? It's a, you know, it's, it's a blessing to the enemy. So that means I want you to, 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 to have a think that you yourself, I remember I said that the sea can be yourself as well too. So you yourself can be a blessing to the enemy. The enemy that wants to attack you. So King Israel saw this and caught all the waste. Even in our lives, we have to examine every area of our life. Anything which waste or destroy our time is a gain for enemy. You know, somebody wants to bring you down and you continue to do the wrong thing. They'll be praying for you that you continue, continue to, do, to do the wrong thing. You know. May God help us. The second thing that was done, if you read that scripture, repairing the broken walls. <laughs> repairing the broken walls. You know, wall is like a fortress. You know, you can see all the wall here. It, now, because of this wall, I can't just jump to the next, to the next room. If I try it, then again, you know, you, you, you know the result. You know. A wall is like a fortress, and a fortress is Jesus. Sometimes our time, we slowly tend to drift away from Jesus' presence, and cracks start to appear in our walls. Try F's meant these cracks. You know, sometimes when you're in trouble, then you know, okay, you want to find a solution. You know, that trouble is the cracks. So during a siege or a trial, we seek him 
much more and work with him very closely. He whispers things to us and we are ready to listen to all his ears. This situation made our broken relationship with Jesus. So you can see when there is siege, there's a tendency that going to be a broken wall. And how can we make that broken wall? It's through Christ. Hallelujah. Psalm, 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 80, Psalm 18 verse 2 says, The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. Jeremiah 15, 20 says, I will, I will make you a wall to these people a fortified wall of bronze. They will fight against you, but you, but we not overcome you. For I am with you to rescue and save you, declare by the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, the siege is over. The third thing that we see in that scripture that, you know, the production of the weapons of defense. We, the, we, the subject of Christ, we have to have a set of weapons in place. These have to be sometimes produced, prepared, polished, refined. We can open our Bible, but we, we, I just want you to notice Ephesians 6, 10 to 18. You will see the instruction given to us by God that what we need to do when we have the kind of situation Be strong in the Lord in a mighty power. Pull out, pull on the full of armors of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's instance. I want also to remember this morning that whatever the siege that we have, the great is, is the one within that outside. Again, let me repeat that again. Great is the one within that outside. Remember that when the Astra siege put siege on Judah, they are the outside. But again, the great the greater that is be, that more than them, when it's kind of people pray to God, the angels came down because it was within, and the angels came down and destroyed the armies of Astra. Rule number one, during a siege, greater is the God who is within the city with us. Now, I'm now using your body, I'm using your family, I'm using you as the city, and the greater is within you as a family. Hallelujah. Whatever that is threatening us can never overtake us. This is a simple rule. does not matter how large the city is, how powerful the army may, 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 be, may be, may look like. Your problem, again, your problem, or your problems, let me put it, because we have many problems. It's not even one, many problems. Before, even before you saw another one, you have many, many problems. Can be the biggest in, in the world for you. You know, my problem may look very big to me, but be very small to you. Understand, but to me, I know it's very, it's very, very big to me. Hallelujah, you know. So your problem can be biggest in you in the world for you, but Jesus who live within you is greater. It's greater. First John four says, "You, the dear children, f- are from the God and overcome them because of the one." Who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. So, when we experience siege, the battle is, is for who? It's for God. Sometimes we feel that we can solve every battle in this life or that's affecting us. We feel that we have the strength, we have the, we have the ability, we have the courage to do it. 
But again, the body, the body is, is for the Lord. Remember, in verse 20 of what we, uh, the scripture we read, King Ezekiel and the prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, cried out in prayer to heaven about this. And the Lord sent an angel who annihilated all the fighting men and commanders and officers in the camp of the extra king. You can see what they, what they do. They too, they, 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 Roman one, they falsified their everything, they done everything they need to do. But they say that people outside, that if they enter, they will conquer the city, free the city. That is the same thing. How her problem to us. But they went what? They pray to heaven about this. About see, the pressure about this. About that situation. So when you are praying for a particular a particular problem, pray to that situation. Pray to that situation. The God, the open heaven, we hear you. Amen. So whenever trials, are, whatever, whatever trial we are, we are facing now, whatever you may think, maybe this is the end of the world. Maybe you may think this is the end of you know. You may think, why all these things happening? Why am I having this? But I can assure you this morning, God is going to give you victory. If you believe that God is going to give you victory. Remember, this boy is what? It's not a victory. Hallelujah. So you don't need to lift a finger. If you truly, truly believe in him. If you truly believe in him. Romans 8, Romans 8 verse 26 says, In the same way the Spirit helps us, in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. The Holy Spirit will intercede for you and do the prayer for you. The Holy Spirit will fill you in everything that you are lacking. In Jesus' name. If you believe in everything I've said this morning, I want you to stand up. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. Every siege of repeated failure in my family let the almighty God break it by anointing the of Holy Spirit. Every siege of repeated failure in my family. I want us to open our mouth. I want us to, I want, because, you know, every siege, every siege of repeated failure in my family break by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I want us to pray. Every siege of rising and falling. Every siege of rising and falling. Every siege of rising and falling. Break by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Every siege. Every siege of rising and falling. Break by the anointing of Holy Spirit. Lord, for the Lord, for the Lord. Hallelujah, for the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Every siege of no achievement, every siege of no achievement, be destroyed by the anointing and lose your power from me. Every siege of no achievement, every siege of no achievement. Be destroyed by anointing and lose your power from me. Thank you, Lord, for the Lord. 
thank you, Lord. Thank you for the Lord. Shoot. Thank you, Lord. For the Lord. For the Lord. For that shoot. Thank you, Lord. Every siege of barrenness in my life. Every siege of barrenness in my life. Barrenness here, we're not talking about somebody looking for a child or looking for things. Barrenness can be, can be many things. Can be financial. Can be things you're looking for and you're lacking it. Every siege of barrenness in my life. Break by anointing of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the Lord. For the Lord. I want us to pray. Every siege of financial stagnation. Every siege of financial stagnation in my family be destroyed by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. For the Lord. Every siege of financial stagnation in my family be destroyed by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the Lord. Thank you for the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the Lord. For the Lord. Every siege of this disfavor, every siege of disfavor, monetary me. Break by the anointing of Holy Spirit. Every siege of this favor, mentoring me, break by the anointing of Holy Spirit. I want you to pray this last prayer. And I want you to take it very, very important. I want us to pray. Every siege of evil Family pattern manifesting in stagnation. Again, let me repeat again. Every siege of evil, family pattern manifesting in stagnation, setback, or role reversal. I want us to pray that we be break and be destroyed by the Holy Spirit, by the Holy, by anointing of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, worship the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the Lord, for ship, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for ship, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. And I want us to raise our hands up, and I want you to say after me. I want you to claim this word. I receive the fresh anointing for profitability life. Anointing for unsolicited favor, rest upon me. I'm nothing to break out of obscurity, obs obscurity, because to flow upon my business. I receive a fresh anointing for supernatural attraction. I am anointing for supernatural connection rest upon me and my family. Anointing of come and see begin to flow upon my life. Anointing that commands unsolicited help manifested in my life. Anointing of finishing well begin to speak in my life. Mm. Anointing lo locate me and relocate me into my place of breakthrough. In Jesus' name we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning, Lord. We thank you for your word, Lord. Because we know that you are the covenant-keeping God. And we are standing on your promises this morning. And you said to us that the siege is over. Whatever our situation, whatever the problem we are facing, 
you know it. Because you are the king that sees the heart of the kings, Lord. Heavenly Father, Lord, we are praying that we should be victorious, Lord. Every seed on us will not take us, Lord. Will not take over us, Lord. We shall prosper, Lord, in that matchless Christ, Lord. As we are setting up in this week, Lord, go before us, Lord. Because you are the God that knows tomorrow. You are the God that knows the next second, Lord. You know our future, Lord. And we command everything about us to you this morning, Lord. Go before us, Lord. Your favor will be upon us, Lord, as you are setting on this week, Lord. And this week will be a blessing week for us, Lord. We shall have testimony, Lord, upon, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord, and our Prince Jesus Christ, Lord. Amen.